Okay, part three, real quick, we have some questions because I put a thing on YouTube for questions and we got an answer that has several, a comment that has several questions and we decided to do a quick part three because um, the storage on my phone could run out and we don't want it to like stop and make it more complicated for like if we have to end up editing this. But welcome back. It's been so long since I've seen you guys. Like two seconds. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's so, finish up this Q&A. First question, what is your current work in progress about? Can't really tell you. Some of you guys know because some of you know me in real life and are our writer friends. And some of you know because we're in the same writer's community stuff. But... Um, what I can say is it has two main characters, only two, which is different because oh, a lot, I'm used to writing big groups of characters and I think I really do well with writing big groups of main characters actually, mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, which is um, strange, but it has two main characters and it's a genre blender of a book. Um, I can't yeah, really, <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> It's hard to put it in a genre because there are just so many that it could be a part of because it has so many aspects. It has like romance superheroes, it has like sci-fi aspects, it has like urban fantasy aspects, it has uh, contemporary, like you've heard some of my stuff so you kind of, it's hard to put it in a genre but I think that's kind of cool that my debut novel is going to be a genre bender. I like how she says debut. 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 It's officially debut. 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 It's called debut? It said your debut. I've heard of debut. Debutante debut. as a person. Debut is your introduction oh. to the world. What's the first story you ever wrote? My first story I ever wrote was about a magical suit of armor that Wait. came to life. Wait, you forgot to tell me about your work in progress. My VIP? Whip. Watch me whip. Watch me whip. Watch me, Nene. For a while, I thought that was kind of inappropriate for some reason. Like, it sounded inappropriate, the whip and Nene. And for some reason, my friend laugh, friends laughed at me when I told them that I thought that it sounded inappropriate. So, I don't know. I grew up sheltered, so. Um, my work in progress is... It's also a very genre blendy blender. It was thing. one genre, then she had it used to be, to it for a Yeah, it used to be one genre, and then I decided to change it completely because she it was gave me so the idea. good. I hated the idea. So the thing is, I was just joking. I was just throwing stuff in the air. I was playing a game. I was like switching book genres, and then like she's like, she imagine just, if your book was like a dystopia, and I was like, this instead is really of a medieval idea. fantasy, it was a great medieval fantasy, and now she's twisted it, and I hate it. <laughs> I mean, it's probably good, I guess, but like I'm so sad because it was so good. Yeah. It was. Even though it really did remind me of the Ascendance Trilogy, I'm like... I didn't how read come? the Ascendance Trilogy until I after know. I started writing it. I know, that's cool, but it's still... People who have read that series would have loved it. Like, because you know the familiarity. Yeah. Alright, so what was the first story you ever wrote? I had written, like, I feel like short stories before, but it was a book called The Girl and the Rescue of the Dragons, and it disappeared. Where is it? I think I let your, um... Some of your family members read it. Oh. Some of your humans. Uh, it's not here. But it was a notebook I would dictate to my mom. And any time I went over to her house, I would read it from the beginning because I didn't. I thought she would forget like what had happened before. And I was really into Narnia, so some aspects... You found it! You found it! See, this is the cover. And I illustrated every page because we wrote in pen, so... Ah! Fell! <laughs> Uh, next question. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. It was mine was like a fantasy thing and had dragons in it. <laughs> okay, have you ever written a story together before? Yes. You would not believe the sarcasm. Oh, um, yes. So it was basically a story based off of the debacle that took place several years ago. Yeah, we wrote stage. it during COVID. We didn't finish it. Uh, we're going to definitely rewrite it. Reimagine, yeah. rewrite it. Yeah. The reason we stopped is because we couldn't figure out how to defeat the villain. <laughs> the villain at the time the was villain. the president. This has nothing to do with any of the presidents <laughs> we have now. Have this has with... nothing to do with the presidents we have now. By the way, this character was not based at all. No, it was just like taking the framework that had been provided. Yeah, and, and then so, building off of that. Yeah, and so we could like, what could characters under the age of seventeen do to like four characters? And there were a few grown-ups. So, like, we can't assassinate it, and we can't have a duel. There's, like, politics involved. Yeah, 
So we're yeah. also writing another story today. Oh yeah, this one's it's more like a contemporary. It's a contemporary comedy. comedy. And so we're really excited. <laughs> it's going to be great. I think yeah. you guys will like it. We should totally write it after. We should. Uh, what is a bookish opinion you literally cannot agree on? For both of us? Bookish. Yeah. Like like a, an opinion about a book that we can't agree on. I don't think we really have one. I mean, at the moment, I can't think of one. I'm sure we've had it disagreed. But it's we've usually just been like... most Almost like books we've read, like... I mean, sometimes, I think we don't, we don't really just, like, fight about it. Like, there's some things, like, I love the Artemis Fowl series. I thought she'd like it. She started reading it. She didn't like it. And so we just, I'm like, oh, I thought you'd like it. Oh. I mean, there's been times where the only, I think maybe it's, an, it's not an opinion we've disagreed on. It's just, like, one time she went to her relative's house, and the relative happens to have a bunch of books that I love. Oh. And so she took a picture of it. I'm like, don't just stand there and read! <laughs> like, start reading them. You need to read them so I can talk to you about them. I've been waiting to talk to somebody about these. And she's like, no. I'm like, <laughs> I'd rather write instead. That's after I started writing Genevieve. So, of course, I'm going to write instead. Genevieve is a villainous character. Mm -hmm. Villainous antagonist. Okay, the last question is... Which person, like, is what more character like, from the movie or movie, TV show, book, etc., is the person, the other person most like? Oh, we know this one so well. We've discussed it so many times. Care to for the honors? Well, basically, Sean and Gus from Psych. Oh, that one? Oh. Oh, which other one were you? Oh! <laughs> My bad. We're basically Ico and Cinder from oh, Ico. She's Cinder. It's so like. Um, on this one group chat we're on, we've discussed it, and it's so accurate, because I am literally an Aiko and she Cinder, and our relationship, even like that, like, Aiko and she's, Cinder, I'm just looking for her kind. She's my little robot that does all the chores around the house. Yeah, and Aiko's even older than, like, Cinder, so I'm older than her. I don't know. Uh, I think. Yeah, she's probably built before then. But Aiko's amazing. I love her. I can relate to her so much. She can relate to Cinder so much. And now I'm just looking for her Prince Kai. <laughs> and Lord knows she's found someone to be Thorn for her. <laughs> what? Thorn, you know, like how they have this platonic like relationship. Oh. I love their relationship. It's so funny. Because <laughs> they have this like brother-sister vibe thing going on. Brother-sister vibe going on. Yeah, yeah. Not, not that any of your siblings resemble Thorn. But anyway. Uh, but as for Sean and Gus, um, from the show Stella, from the show Psych. Tongue twisters, I swear. Uh, we are not designated to one of them. Like, I'm not Gus, or, like, she's not just Sean. Even though I'm probably more like Sean than she is like Sean. You would not We're want to a mix. Your ice cream cone. It no. really depends on the situation and yeah. how we act. Because sometimes, like, I tend to be the, uh, she's the more mature person in the relationship at times. A lot of times. Like, if she's doing something dangerous, she'll call me. Okay. Because she wants to make sure that there's a mature person somewhere in the vicinity. Yeah, one time I was like, sometimes like if I'm gonna prank someone, I'm texting you about it. You're like, that is not a good idea. I'm like, that's an amazing idea. idea. <laughs> what are you joking about? Like Don't anyway, me. but then she's like kind of like the Gus in that relationship, and I'll just go off do something, and then sometimes it's me who's the Gus. Yeah, because they both are totally whacked out, and um, we both. Will have that in a relationship. <laughs> That's more on the comedy side of things. Just the the Wonder Chronicles is just like dead accurate. Mm -hmm. And psych then is there's just like Psych, hilarious, and, and stuff. And it's amazing. Like, what about like who would be Lassiter and who would be Jules? You'd definitely be Lassiter. No, you're not as cranky as Lassiter is, no, though. I feel like I No, you'd be, be the like... dad. You'd be Sean's dad. <laughs> you are definitely Sean's dad. That is her, like, sole character, is Sean's dad. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sean's dad reminds me of, like, Randolph. Your character, Randolph. Oh my goodness. He does. She's Sean's dad, deep in her soul. And I, and probably Sean, a mix of Sean and Jules, if they have a child... I am that child. <laughs> I'm the creation of Sean and Jules, and Gus is my godfather. And I'm your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe we should end on that note. Yeah, it's about <laughs> 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, thank you for staying with us on this Q&A. If you guys have questions about us, 
don't be afraid to like you can ask us in the comments maybe one day we'll do this again uh, just also like if you find the short that I have you can like put questions in there if you want to like for a future q and I don't know but we've had a, a lot of fun with these questions we're so glad we got all these responses I wasn't really expecting that uh, so like that we're gonna make up we we're gonna make up some responses I was responses. expecting like two well is that like Minus the ones I put in. Oh, that's true. True. Because I put in a few just because I couldn't help myself. I saw the form and I had to make up some weird question. I'm never <laughs> sending another form to her again. <laughs> she can't help it though because I'm on the blog list. Even okay. though I write the blog. Uh, well, I'll write the Yeah. Um, so everybody, have an amazing day or night, whatever you're doing. And um, have a great day. Day. See you soon, everybody. This ain't the last you're going to see of us this week. No siree. And remember that Jesus loves you. And because we always have to say that because Jesus loves you. And that message needs to get out to more people. Because Jesus does loves you. Loves you. That I need to drink water. But don't be afraid to drink water. Drink lots of water. Okay. Water. <laughs>